Hello internet, my name is Aquan, welcome back to Ruby Glamour Hello Internet, my name is Aquan, welcome back to Ruby Grim Eclipse. We are joined once again by Reb Goals. Good night, mate! That's not the right that's, accent. That's not at all. <laughs> you uh you went in, you went in an odd direction with that. I wasn't quite I don't expecting know. that one. I'm wearing a funny hat. There's not exactly an Indiana Jones voice. Uh, Unless I, I guess not. I could just start yelling I hate snakes, but I don't think we actually have any um King Daijutsus in this game. Oh, that's right, there aren't. That would be fun. Oh, if I that would be such a fun fight. The entire game yelling. Oh, hate man. Snakes. Why is it always <laughs> snakes? I I wish there was a King Daiju to fight in this now. They should have had, like, boss waves in Horde really mode. I could see that to do. Well, but, but having the head and the tail do things reasonably and in a deadly fashion without them just, like, trying to tear themselves apart. Where am I? I mean, the moveset is the main thing, really, and, like, yeah. it'd be, like, a bite attack and, like, ah. a sweeping tail attack. And but then, he doesn't like... have a tail. He's got another head. Oh, shit. Uh, so it would have two the... bite attacks. <laughs> And it's like, does it does it always try to attack whatever's nearest the nearest given head? And what if they're out of range? Like, oh yeah, there, there's all that. That's that's just I mean, AI programming, though. It's not. Like, I know, crazy but it's hard. it's a weird thing. Like, oh absolutely. Creeps are easy. That's. <laughs> yes, they are. See, that's that'd be a fun thing to do though, because it's like they could test their metal of programming AI. That's one thing I've, like, I've never done, actually, is uh, make an AI for a game. That's something I was, like, about to start on, and that's when I started, like, programming for games. Some friends and I are getting ready to start a D&D &D campaign. Ooh. And it's it's me and a bunch of theater friends, and so it's either going to be amazing or a absolute chaos. <laughs> um, I really don't think there's an in-between. I really miss doing D&D &D stuff. Like, I occasionally watch Critical Role and that sort of thing. Mm. And my friend Adam is utterly obsessed with Critical Role at this point. And so he, he wants to, like, try to play DM and, and see what happens. Uh, it's a lot more preparation than you would think. I would, he, I would tell him that He is putting much. a lot of work into it. That's good. Because, so. like, every time I've tried being DM, I've, like, made maps of the entire world, all the areas they can go to, and... Like and then everything like falls apart abruptly. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the last campaign I tried to run, it was like, hey, you're from this, like, magical city that's, like, one of the last of, the, like, of the magical areas in the world, and it's, like, hidden away in this forest and it's invisible to everybody else, and you're gonna go out to the outside world and learn about it because we haven't been out there for hundreds of years. Immediately gets thrown into a jail cell. Because <laughs> they, like, they, like... I can't remember what it was. They like went into this town. And there was um, some sort of like thing happening. It was like oh, I can't remember what it was, like an execution or something maybe. I just remember there was like oh, people they, like up interfered. On... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just became an all-out brawl between like them and everybody else. Whoops. And guess what? They lost. Oh, good. And then they got put into a jail cell. I was gonna have an NPC come along and like break them out, and be like, "Guys, the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> and then they were gonna like accompany them and keep them from doing stupid shit from then on. But then we never played again. So right now they're just trapped in a jail cell for eternity. There you go. The last time I played was in uh, college, and a friend really wanted to do like the Firefly D and D game or Ooh, Firefly. Yeah. Yeah, whatever the, role-playing like, game stuff yeah um but <clears throat> we like got halfway through reading the rules and then everyone got mad that the rules kind of sucked and so we <laughs> just ended up renaming everything in D and d and playing that instead yeah that's a good and way it's to do like it, all right you're a cleric but that's also now you're a medic oh and the cleric has fire ability um so you're armed with a flamethrower <laughs> um and that's really just how we're gonna pull this off. <laughs> Honestly, like, that's okay. a really good way to do it. Like, that's what I've seen a lot of people do. Yeah. And it worked pretty well. I mean, we had a great time. Um, mm, that's what really Even matters. though, unfortunately, our DM was not terribly familiar with Firefly. Oh, uh, um, that would... That and would so, not be so... Like, great. he introduced... Um, like, how familiar are you with Firefly? None. Okay. So there's, like, <laughs> yeah. this bad guy in Firefly, Niska, who you do not screw over Niska. You just 
don't. He's one of these guys with, like, a collection of ears in the basement. Oh. Like, you don't fuck around with Niska. And so he was introduced as the guy we're taking a job from. <laughs> and it was, and, like, immediately, like, in character, I was like, no, we're not taking this job. We're so not fucking doing this. <laughs> and... Oh shit, where's the dust? Uh, we take the job anyway, and then um, we immediately fuck up the job, and so now we're on Niska's bad side, and where am I? Did I just- I just fell asleep. I went to the lower area. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, We, hi, we need to get the dust a... out of the things, remember? We I just- do. I just- I was right. just like fighting stuff, I'm like, why are these guys not stopping? Oh, right! Hey, we need to move the bomb. Things, uh, yeah. But yeah, so like I spent the entire game insisting that we needed to not take the job, and we did take the job, and then we fucked up the job, mm -hmm. and so I pretty much kept like insisting we needed to not fuck it up any further, and we kept doing that. Um, and then the DM had no idea why I kept reacting this way because he'd never seen the show, mm -hmm. and it was like, no, no. Um, and so then finally, like the game more or less ended, but this captured us all and plotting to kill us all, and it was like, TOLD YA! <laughs> <laughs> my, my favorite story to tell of any, uh, d, d campaign- Oh jeez! That was close. Oh, the dust's all the way back there, god damn it. But, um, so we were in this, like, we, like, took a ship to this, like, new land that, like, nobody's ever really gone to, like, nobody's ever come back kind of thing. And it's like, we get there, and all the towns are, like, Surrounded by like metal walls like it's basically just a bunch of cubes So like nothing can get in turns out at night. There's a bunch of like alien werewolves come out That have like they're like well werewolves plus Good. and uh so That was the thing one of our teammates got turned into one cuz We like went into one of the dens and he got bitten and shit, but They were powered by the moon and like we figured this out and there was also these rat folk that had energy crystals, and they had, like, little ray guns. Okay. And so I'm sitting here like... I bet we can make this into a bigger ray gun if we got a bigger crystal. So we got a bunch of bigger crystals. We made, like, a ton of, like, huge laser cannons, and I just... I was like, point them at the moon! And I'm like, okay. And then, uh... Every night we would fire all of them that we had built. And then some of them would explode. Up the goddamn moon? I was blowing up the moon. God so, damn it, man! <laughs> it's my favorite thing in the goddamn world. But um, so what happened is, right? We're doing this like I, I'm just doing this with my rat folk buddies, and then one of the other party members sees me doing this and is like, "Hey, what's up?" I'm like, oh, "I'm just trying to blow up the moon." And like, "Fuck it, sweet dude, I'm in." So he's helping me. <laughs> We're, we build like five cannons a day, and like three or four of the four of them explode at night because you know they're quickly built and they. Or like new technology, but we're, we're chipping away at the moon, right? And then something magical happens, where we were both rolling for the cannons, like going back and forth, just to see how much like damage we did if we hit it and stuff. Uh, three natural twenties happen in a row. Oh no! And the GM is like, "Fuck it, you blew up the moon." And he was okay. so pissed, and I was so happy. So, uh, that's, that's been the start of my obsession of blowing up the moon in every single anything that I can. So guess what? For this game that I make, you're gonna be able to blow up the moon in it. Some way, somehow, it's gonna happen. So, I saw the Power Rangers movie over Oh the yeah, I saw you tweeting about that. Um, and it was effectively everything I wanted it to be. Very nice. Um. Uh, and there were there were a couple moments where like I was sitting there, it's like go to the moon, go to the moon, go to the moon. <laughs> I I've only seen their like outfits, and I was just pretty like I don't know about this about them. So they, it, it looked starts like they tried out like unnecessarily angsty like <laughs> extra over dramatic breakfast club, mm. um, and then like the last. I would say half hour of the movie, it finally embraces what it really is, and we just like double down on the cheese and oh, the ridiculous. Yeah. And we're about to die. Um, where's uh, the fucking last dust? Oh, there it is. It just appeared. Yeah, we have 20 seconds. That's not a lot. That's not gonna make it. <laughs> nope. 
This will be the first time that I've lost this mission in like since I started, I think. Oh, it's so uh, it's right. so I'm close. Gonna run away from the bomb? No. Yep, do it. Go. I'm doing. Go. Go, bomb. You can do it. <laughs> Freedom! No! <laughs> yeah, we're fucked. I've uh, never seen the fail animation. There's dust right next to you. <laughs> I know. I came here for it, and now I'm dealing with monsters. It happens. You know, oh, jeez. These guys are spawning already. Wait. Where'd the dust go? I got it. Fuck. Oh, you got it. You took my dust while I was distracted with monsters. Yeah, because we needed to get it. All right, fine. Is teamwork. Oh, oh, oh! We're all about leaving it. me to die. <laughs> Won't you go? I, I time, ulted. That's fucking teamwork. I, I ulted in the group of monsters, and then I grabbed the dust, and then I left. Uh huh. Oh. If you don't die to monsters first, we're gonna die from the bomb again. So. All right. Well. You know. <laughs> also, I was going to say, me being obsessed with blowing up moons is why one of, one of the reasons why I'm obsessed with the ruby mode, because it's like half destroyed. It's so like, I'm what just, happened? Yeah, I'm just looking at you and like, what the fuck did that? I really just wanted to be some, some badass. Just, just destroyed it. I would like it to be Summer in her like, a blaze of glory, trying to like, kill I feel we'd Salem. talk about that more if we did, if it was. Like, that seems too recent. Yeah, that, that's what I always come back to as well. Even if it was like 70, 80 years ago when Oz was like, first yeah. it, it had to have been like, the end of the Great War maybe kind of thing. Yeah. That might be old enough. Although that wasn't, that was pretty recent too, wasn't it? Did they ever say like, what time frame that was? Um... Aren't we doing... I'm trying to remember what year of the Vital Festival it was. Oh, did they say? I think they did. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't, I don't remember. I feel, I feel it was on something. I'd have to go and look though. Okay, so now we have three minutes left on this thing, so... <laughs> now we can spend some time blowing shit up. We, we dicked around for uh, quite a while. We did. Whoa! Oh! Well, there it is. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Boo. Perfect form. Well, I'm very <laughs> and fire! Yeah. <laughs> like fire! Blake, dance with me. See, he, he just said a parent teacher conference, but like. Half the parents aren't there. <laughs> I want to meet Mom gone. Ice. Be, or Mama Schneid, because oh, man. I mean, she's so going to be drunk off her ass. We saw a picture of her. We did see a picture, and she did not look happy. Oh, no, no, none of them did, except, uh, what's his dick? Fucking <laughs> piece of shit. Papa Schnee. No, uh... Shock. Oh, Whitley? Whitley, yeah. Shitley. Shitley, there you go. Shitley. Alright, done with that. <laughs> That'll be it for this episode. <laughs> uh, next time is Firefall. So that'll be a fun time. But, thank you for joining me at Rep Goats. Absolutely. And that'll be it for... This episode, I already said that. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, share with your friends, share with the world. Now, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.